If you've never had a good old fashioned bourbon ball, you have got to try these. This is the perfect, quick, easy, no bake cookie for your holidays. No kiddos, please, just adults, but. Oh yeah, mmm. Check out the recipe. That's on tkfoodie.com. And please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you get all the latest from us on YouTube, including these yummy bourbon balls. Delicious. <laughs> yeah. We are going to make one of the yummiest old fashioned cookies and it's a no bake cookie. My mom used to make these, they're bourbon balls. You would not believe how easy they are, not for kiddos, but they come together so quickly with the help of a food processor. I remember making these back in the day. This is probably a recipe from way before the 60s, I think, because my dad would talk about taking a couple bourbon balls in his pocket out in the middle of winter when he was working on the farm to give a bite or two and keep him warm. But I'm starting in here with vanilla wafers, good old vanilla wafers. And this recipe makes a bunch, so I'm probably going to have it. So I've got about a cup and a half of vanilla wafers in here, and I'm just gonna crush them up in my food processor. All right, to this mixture, I'm going to add a heaping tablespoon of, this is raw cacao, but cocoa powder, and then some pecans. You can use a different kind of nut if you want to, but pecans just go perfectly in here and I'm gonna give it another quick blitz. Alrighty. And then, bourbon. Here's where the bourbon comes in. I'm going to put a couple tablespoons of bourbon. That's why this is not for kiddos because you're not gonna have an opportunity to cook out the alcohol from this. And then I also want to add, I'm going to start with a tablespoon of corn syrup. You could use honey, molasses, anything like that if you wanted to. I'm just kind of sticking to the good old fashioned original recipe. And I'm going to blitz it up to see where I get. Ooh, that's a good consistency. If I put in my tablespoon, <laughs> it's sticking. That was not a good idea. You can see it's starting to come together and I can form it into balls. So here's what we do next. Actually, we should taste them. <laughs> They're really good. Then all you need to do is roll them in balls and then either I have this is regular cane sugar or I have the raw cacao that I can also roll them in. So I'm gonna do them a couple of different ways. And I'm gonna use a tiny scoop you want these balls to be relatively small. Roll them in your hands, about that size, and then roll them in your coating of choice. We'll do one in the raw cacao, cocoa powder, whatever you have. Looks like a little uh, truffle. So cute. And then I'm going to do another one. Again, roll it in my hand. We'll roll that one in the cane sugar. So it looks like that. Super cool. I'll continue to do these. I'm gonna roll them in balls and then they actually need to set for a couple of days to let everything meld together and let those vanilla wafers soften with the uh, bourbon and the syrup that's in there. Oh, these are gonna be yummy. 